Hello, this is the third video of a fourth complex number series on De Waal's theorem for OCR pure core further mathematics. We will be considering powers of complex numbers of the form x plus iy. In the previous video, we used the r cos theta plus i sine theta form for complex numbers. Here we have a number in the form x plus iy. We can find the modulus by using modulus equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we could also <coughs> find the argument as being tan to the minus 1 of y over x. We'd need to check this was a principal argument by doing a sketch. We could find 1 minus 1 over root 3i all to the power 4 by expanding the brackets, but it may be quicker to translate to the r cos theta plus i sine theta form and then use to Moivre's. r is going to equal the square root of 1 plus minus 1 over root 3 all squared. In fact, let's call that 1 squared for completeness which will give us the square root of 4 thirds, which we can write as 2 over root 3. For theta, this will be 10 to the minus 1 of minus 1 over root 3 divided by 1, and would give us minus pi by 6. Let's just check that using a sketch to make sure we have the right quadrant. So we are looking at the fourth quadrant and minus pi by 6 is the right principal argument. Given the spiral pattern we saw on a GeoGebra in the last video, let's have a think about what we might expect when we raise this complex number, 1 minus 1 over root 3i, to a power of 4. Well, we have a minus pi by 6 as the argument, which we're going to add each time. And we know that the radius is 2 over root 3, which is just over 1. So we would expect that number squared to be about there, and the number cubed be there again with a radius expanding over time and then r to the 4 to be in this quadrant here again with the radius expanding. Got 2 over root 3 to the power 4 which would be r to the 4 and we're going to have cos 4 of minus pi over 6 plus i sine 4 minus pi by 6 which when we tidy that up would give us 16 over 9 cos of minus 2 pi by 3 plus i sine of minus 2 pi by 3. If we want the answer back in the x plus i y form, this would give us minus 8 ninths minus 8 root 3 over 9 i. We can do this because we know that the standard values cos of minus 2 pi by 3 is minus a half and sine of minus 2 by pi by 3 is minus root 3 over 2.
In this example here, we will again work out the modulus, which in this case will be the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, or 2 root 2, and the argument, which will be tan for minus 1, 2 over 2, or 1, which will give us pi by 4. Again, let's have a quick sketch. We know that 2 plus 2i will be in this quadrant here. And when we raise it for power 5, we would expect, again, as this time the radius is also greater than 1, an expanding spiral out. taking us down to the fifth power at that last dot. So, we've got 2 root 2 to the power 5. Cos of 5 pi by 4 plus i sine 5 pi by 4 using De Moivre's theorem which will give us 128 root 2 and then given that we want to put it back into x plus yi form and we know we can work out the values of cos 5 pi by 4 and assign 5 pi by 4 We could tidy that up to being minus 128 minus 128 i. In the next video, we will look at further uses of de Moivre's theorem.